Good morning fellow traders, Lola Clear here with another video watching HPE and I'm looking to short this stock and um, we've updated Webull and so one way to find out if the shock is, stock is shortable is to look here you'll see shortable this little blue arrow all right so getting back in here we have two thousand dollars in equity i'm trying to go fast as possible the stock is now at 998 need to get in there fast we have two thousand dollars equity we can get up to four to one 800 shares let's drop that in sell 800 shares we want to get in as fast as possible right now so i'm just going to go by market and then i'll explain everything after right afterwards so stock is dropping we want to take it down all the way to uh, say this support which is a 50 percent mark 979 we're now 400 um sorry for now four dollars here 800 shares showing their average price 997 so the reason why i know that this is shortable i mean this is a stock that is going to go down is by watching the pattern here and that's a pattern that shows me that this is a pop and drop so i waited for it to pop consolidate for a bit i wanted to see it break through vwap and start trending down so i'm waiting for that to happen all right for those of you who are joining me for the first time again my name is lola claire what i do i come on here using just the paper trading here because what i'm doing is just showing you my strategy how i trade and i'm using webull which is one of the best uh platforms out there that's for you know people with not a lot of money in equity and who just want to start trading you also have the paper trading which works is it within time same time um like real trade so what i do every morning is i find stocks that have my pattern or i watch it to see you know the pattern forms based on my scanner and i use a pe ratio as one of my base to find stocks that i know that are going to be moving so then what i do i come on here and let me go ahead and delete all of this what I do, I come on here and I find on daily because I use the daily and the minute time frames here on Weibo and I use the daily and five minutes on DAS, which is the other platform that I use. I draw my Fibonacci and on here, like I've said before, is that the numbers are the price point are right where the bottom of the uh candlestick the last candlestick there and also at the highest candlestick the top of the uh, candlestick here then i go in and i put in my minute as well because what i use is my fibonacci retracement as my technical analysis so i know where to get in and where to get out other people may use something else but this is what i use because i'd rather they tell me than i figure it out for myself let me just do that so it's a little dark all right so i also like to find the major support resistance so let's see where this one is and just see and i go about this many different ways but here's another way if um if you've never seen me do this before is i just want to see and make sure that this is actually a very good one so what i did if you just notice i drew a line on this major support here to see if it's actually also a resistance level and it is a major support resistance level this white line here let me just make it a little thicker so you can see it so yes it's a major support resistance level the fib line is also right there also showing a major support resistance level you can see this blue line right there so i want to take it anywhere down to that level um and take profit all right, so let's watch to see what happens. HPE, like I said, is shortable here on Webull, and we are just holding while it figures out that, hey, it's time to go down. This thing popped up from $9.31 uh, pre-market all the way to $10.27, started dropping, then uh, bounced off, got up, Blue Pass VWAP, which is another technical analysis that I use. 
went up there, could not make it back up, started struggling, hence the consolidation right here. And then we have a drop. Try it again. Um, and because we have both Fibonacci and VWAP right here, it was acting as a magnet, so failed again. And now we're coming down. It bounced off this 38.2. You know my 38.2 bouncing back up but i'm thinking this thing is going to be coming down soon so just holding because it tried a couple of times and failed and um we're just gonna see what happens all right i might just play some music for you while you wait on this thing while we're waiting on this i just wanted to um mention something here a subscriber asked me about stop loss uh, generally, I don't put in stop loss. Here's why. Because I have my pattern set and let me put this back in. Now, if this thing had turned on me, I'm not going to wait on a stop loss to hit. I'm going to get out. So that's why I trade on with patterns. And if the pattern shifts, I, I, I know what's going to happen based on what the pattern is, or I'm 90% sure what's going to happen. Now, if this thing started going back up from here, I know that the direction is not going in my favor. So what I would do, I would just get out. I would not wait. I would not put a stop loss anywhere here to, to wait to lose more money. As soon as I see this thing start going in the opposite direction of what I think it is supposed to go, I'm out. So I usually don't. But on here, you can set your stop loss. Let me show you. Uh, no, I don't think they have it in here. Not on paper, but they do have it in the in the real trading. Um, you'll see it over here. It'll say stop loss, and you just click on your stop loss. All right, we're at $100 right now, but I'm still waiting. Let me go ahead and put in my buyback at $9.79. So I'm going to buy back all my shares at $9.79, which is what VWAP, I'm sorry, which is what FIB is. Let's just wait again and see what happens. We're now 12 minutes in the trade. Not a long time, but we're holding. What happened here was I'm thinking profit was being taken at this support resistance right there. Let's get rid of this. At this support resistance, profits was being taken there. I'm holding for support and resistance, a major support resistance we saw here on the daily. And on FIB. So now we're seeing some consolidation here on this first support resistance. So you see the stock is consolidating, but I'm still holding for it to break this consolidation, break out of it and get down to my price point here. We're now in the stock for 22 minutes, but that's not long. That's okay. We're fine. Okay, guys, so we're consolidating right now, right there on my line. Remember, we're waiting on 979, 979, and it's coming up. We're 980, coming up 979, and we're out with $148 flat on this trade. 
so like i said guys this was gonna hit our mark right there it was gonna come down knew that based on the pattern knew that it was gonna hit that major support resistance and now there it is just consolidating all right guys so if you like what you just saw please give it a like so that youtube can share this and subscribe if you have not subscribed before thank you also for my long time subscribers thanks for sticking in please watch and share this video and continue being being smart traders and i will catch you next time take care guys all the best to you bye